What can you expect if you are interviewed for a segment on a local TV station? Where are the cameras? Where do you look? How can you present yourself in the best light and tell your story in the most effective way possible? In this video, I'll take you behind the scenes of a shoot so you can mentally prepare for your first or next appearance on camera. I'm Cheryl Tan with Cheryl Tan Media. We help startups to Fortune 500 companies build their media authority and communicate better on video. Subscribe to this channel for content that will help you connect with your audience, share a clear message, and give you strategies to create content consistently. Click the subscribe button and the bell icon and you won't miss a thing. I've had a couple of people ask me recently what it's like to be interviewed for a TV segment and I thought I would share three different scenarios that could happen for you as an expert in your industry. This is where a TV reporter might call you to get your thoughts on a particular subject, a topic you are well familiar with. The goal of this video is to prepare you so if you get a call, a text, or an email from a reporter, you have an idea of what to expect. Here are three times when you may be called to share your expertise or your story on camera. Number one, you may be called into the TV studio for a live or taped interview. Number two, the TV crew could come to you, maybe setting up a shoot in your living room or your office. Or number three, the TV interview could be conducted over Zoom. Since you are an expert in your space, whether it's taxes, real estate, education, know that you are being asked to speak because of what you know already. Likely these are things you talk about with clients. These are things you do to help solve your clients' problems. You're just sharing your thoughts in a way to help a mass audience. Typically, the reporter has given you an idea about what you'll be addressing related to what you do. Business write-offs heading into tax season, ways to save on heating and cooling costs, ideas for decorating a home on a budget, Budget, that kind of thing. I recommend you take a moment to think about some key points about what you do before you walk into the studio. Maybe you have a process you take all clients through. Maybe you have a great before or after story to share from one of your clients. These segments are short, maybe three minutes, so you want to give a lot of value to your audience in a short amount of time. You can put together your talking points ahead of time using my free video script framework the message clarity method. To download it for free, just go to CherylTanMedia.com slash framework. Once you have your talking points, how else can you prepare for your segment on TV? Be prepared for a lot of activity. If you're live in the studio, there may be up to three cameras in there. One that will be capturing you and the TV host together, one that will be focused on just the host, and one that will be focused just on you. Ignore the cameras if you can. I know it's easier said than done, but you're there to have a conversation with the host about your topic, whether it's law, parenting, or financial advice. And you'll be sharing that information with the TV host who will be having a conversation with you. The cameras are simply there to capture that conversation. One thing I want to mention here is if you are going to be live on the news for a noon broadcast or at 5 p.m., there'll be a lot of activity in the studio right before the show and in the commercial breaks, but it is very quiet when the show begins. And the only person talking will be the host or the co-host or you. And there's a red light you may see to indicate that you should be talking. I've seen people freeze up when they see it. Just want you to be prepared for it and now you know. The red light goes on and you speak to the TV host having a conversation with him or her just as if you were not on TV. What to wear and how do you show up? Wear something professional in a solid color. Remember, you'll have to wear a microphone. It may be easier to wear a jacket so there's a place you can clip the microphone to. If you know the news crew is coming to your office, be ready for the setup to take a little longer than the interview itself. The crew will look for a quiet place in your office that has a background that isn't too busy. They'll arrange chairs, they'll set up lights. Likely between one and three, they'll attach a microphone to your lapel. No matter where the cameras are, again, try to ignore them and focus on the conversation you're having with the TV host. In fact, while the setup is taking place, you may be talking with the reporter or the host who will be conducting the interview about the subject that you're an expert in. Take that time to share a little bit about yourself. This conversation is the conversation before the recorded part, and it may help you relax before the cameras start rolling. 
Enjoy the experience. Remember, the news crew is interviewing you to hear what you have to say about a particular topic. Sometimes the interview will be conducted by the videographer. If that's the case, you would answer the videographer's questions, having a conversation with him or her and not looking at the camera. The last situation you may find yourself in is a Zoom interview. Try to make sure your internet connection is as stable as possible. Either plug into the router or move your computer to a location where your Wi-Fi is the strongest. The TV host may have you move to a location in your house where the background is clean, simple, and quiet. And know that you'll be looking into the camera and not at the host on the screen. This takes a little bit of getting used to, but you'll be showing up side by side on the screen with the anchor and you looking at the camera will make it appear as if you were talking to the audience. Take some time to anticipate questions you may be asked by the reporter and think about how you would answer them. Download the message clarity method in order to pull together your ideas and enjoy the experience. Your knowledge can help people in your community and that's why you're being given the chance to talk about your experiences. Please let me know if this was valuable information for you. I would love to hear how it helped you prepare for your upcoming TV interview. Thank you so much for watching. Want more ways to show up better on camera? Watch this next.